If you live in a terraced or semi-detached property, then you will have a party wall. A party wall is a dividing wall separating adjoining properties. It can also be any other structure that is mutually shared between adjoining owners, such as a floor between two apartments. If you are planning an extension, loft conversion, or digging a basement, and it affects a party wall or structure, then you need to be aware of the Party Wall Etc. Act 1996. The Party Wall Act sets out the rights and obligations of building owners. Examples of work covered by the Act include construction, excavation, repair and alterations of party walls and structures, removal of chimney breasts, cutting pockets into a wall to insert beams, excavation within three meters of an adjoining owner, and within six meters of an adjoining owner, if any part of the works extend below a 45 degree line drawn from the adjoining owner's footings or other foundations. Building up to or astride the line of junction, in which case you must serve notice on the adjoining owner at least one month before commencing any building work. If your building work affects a party wall or structure, then you will need to notify any adjoining owners in writing by serving a party wall or structure notice. If you fail to serve notice, then there is a risk that adjoining owners may obtain an injunction, which could result in delays and additional costs. Following a served notice, the adjoining owners will have 14 days to consent or dissent. If they consent, then works can commence at the end of the notice period or earlier through agreement. In this case, it is still recommended to appoint a surveyor to record the condition of the party wall or structure so that any damage caused by the works is noted fairly and can be rectified. If consent is not received within 14 days, plus 10 days on further notice, or they dissent, then the parties will be deemed to be in dispute. At this point, the two parties are required to appoint a surveyor to act for both sides, known as the agreed surveyor. Alternatively, each party can appoint their own surveyor, who will then appoint a third surveyor to adjudicate if they cannot agree. The surveyors will then draw up a legally binding document known as the Party Wall Award. This document states the works to be undertaken, a program outlining how and when it will be done. It normally also contains a schedule of condition, working details, a method statement, and states cost responsibilities for construction and surveyors' fees. The person carrying out the works will usually be responsible for the surveyors' fees. To ensure compliance with the Party Wall Act, get in touch with our Chartered Surveyors.